Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little Chinese New Year's outfit for my son. He's in a Chinese immersion program and this year Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day are so close so they're doing a combined party and it was requested that they wear traditional clothes. So I used a t-shirt here to make the pattern. It was pretty simple but I did learn that it would be a lot better if I had actually used a dress shirt for the pattern because the collar ended up being too big so that's a little mistake that I learned that I hope you guys can improve on So the material I found at Walmart, it was a gold costume fabric. It was super cheap. It was only $1.97 per yard. So I just needed a little bit of that. And the red fabric actually was some leftover fabric from a pillowcase. So I had that and I used navy blue uh, bias tape around the edges. I wanted to use black, but they didn't have any fat quarter squares in black. So I went with navy blue. Now, to first start, you're just going to sew the shoulders together, so you're making sure that on the nice gold fabric that you're sewing right sides together so the seams are inwards, but then on the lining fabric, you do things backwards, so then the seams are facing out, but they'll be hidden inside the, inside the red fabric, so I'll just kind of show you. that everything the shoulders are done you're going to attach them using the collar so open both up and just kind of pin them together make sure that the collar piece is also measured from the middle you always want to pin the middle first because sometimes the ends are not perfect and you can trim them up later so after you're measuring down you're going to go ahead and sew all three pieces together so make sure that you pin these super tight I have little sewing clips that I like to use and they're fantastic. Once you've sewn the right side, you'll see that the seams are tucked in. Then you will do the gold side of the collar and then flip it up. Now since this is mostly just a costume, I'm just doing the collar pieces like this. It'll make it more comfortable for my son. If you wanted to be fancy, you could put, you know, that little stiff lining stuff in there to make it a nice stiff collar. Now that my collar is done, we can kind of see it coming together and sewing that collar together helps hold these pieces together as well. Now this gold fabric frays like crazy. Um, it's just how it is. It happens with the cheaper kind of silkier fabrics. So I'm going to go ahead and do the inside lining around the edges so the fraying can stop there and it'll be easier to work with, um, with the sleeves next. So go ahead and take the bias tape and pin it all the way around. Also, I made this little red piece, which I wish I'd had more navy blue to do it. Um, but you're going to want to pin that kind of on the inside. So just in case the shirt pulls open, it's not revealing bare skin. You'll, you'll see where I put it here. So here's that little flap, which I wish I had pulled it up actually and made it closer to the collar. Um, my son is a little active and so definitely needed it to go all the way up. But here I just pinned the bias tape all the way around. I was a little bit lazy and didn't want it to do it the proper way where you sew the bottom and then the top on. So, but it worked out for me. I didn't miss anything and it was nice and easy. All right, now it is time for the sleeves. And here is where my game plan changed and <laughs> I feel really bad that it happened, but I just had to work with it. So here, this gold fabric, even doubled up, is see-through. It's hard to see on camera, but I can see all these circles on my little ironing board. Um, and so I didn't like how thin it was, especially with it being February. And even if I sew just along the shoulders, um, and down it is going to fray and I just don't think it's going to be very comfortable for my son. 
So I found some extra spare blue fabric that I had and I'm just going to make the sleeves and sew that into the red lining and then do the gold so I'm hiding all of the seams. This worked out really well. It was a little bit funky to kind of go around um, and then sew it down but it worked and so I'm glad that it did and that all of those yucky gold fraying seams are hidden. Alright, go ahead and make sure that you trim up the sleeves and then put bias tape around the edges. You can do lots of different things with the sleeves. You could do like a just a simple bias tape like I'm doing, or you could have cut the sleeves shorter and done like a bold accent color. Lots of different styles that you could do. I just was keeping it simple using the bias tape. Also make sure you trim up the bottom as not everything is even with the two um, colors. So line them up trim it around and then pin down the bias tape. Now on these bigger areas it's a little bit easier to cheat with the bias tape and just pin it but the sleeves were really difficult and I was not able to do that so I had to do it the proper way where you sew down the bottom part and then fold it over and sew down the top. So here is everything pinned and my sleeves as well which I had to unpin and redo. All right, now that we have mostly everything that's going to be sewn on, I want to talk about the Chinese knots that we're doing. So the proper knots are called frog closures or frog knots, um, and they're super fancy. And since this is gold, I probably should have done a fancier one, but I don't have time for that. So I just made these really thin strips by sewing a quarter inch and then pulling inside out. And then I'm taking half of it and I'm just doubling it up and tying a knot and just kind of closing it up to kind of make a circular knot. I think this is called a dory knot but I'm pretty sure this is kind of more a simpler way to do this but it kind of gives the look rather than going through all the time to make a really fancy one. So here it is all nice and finished. I had to hand sew um, the buttons on to really get them to look good. I was worried that trying to put them through a machine was just going to mess things up. And here's my son modeling for me with his shirt on. He really enjoyed it and I'm sure he's going to have a wonderful Chinese New Year party. Thanks for watching and enjoy the holiday weekend.